Hello friends, in this video I'll show you how to download and install LibreOffice in Windows 11. Like and subscribe, support the channel, let's get started. Today I'll tell you about a free alternative to Microsoft applications, namely LibreOffice. So to download this application, go to the download page LibreOffice.org. So the web page has loaded, now select download and download LibreOffice. As you can see on the download page, the latest table version of LibreOffice is 25.2. Before downloading LibreOffice, you need to specify the type of your operating system in this drop-down list. Since you have Windows 11 operating system installed, then to determine the type of your OS, right-click on the Start button and select System option. The OS type will be indicated in the System Type line. I have a 64-bit operating system, so I choose the appropriate option. The OS type is selected, now click Download. A window has opened, in which we need to specify where to download the file. We can download the file to a specific folder, either to a disk or just to the desktop. I select a folder and click Save. We wait for some time while the file is downloaded. Great, the file is downloaded. Go to the folder where the file is saved. I'll do it directly from the browser. Here is the LibreOffice file. Double click on it with the leftmost button and the LibreOffice installation window opens. Click Next. The next window prompts you to select the installation type. If we choose the typical installation type, then in the next window the installation manager will suggest selecting some additional features, creating a shortcut on the desktop and launching LibreOffice at System Startup. The typical installation is enough, we don't change anything but simply click install. If we choose a custom installation, then in the next window we can set additional parameters. For example, you can change the installation directory or select additional dictionaries. Please note that all available components are displayed on the left side. A description of the selected component is displayed to the right of it. The components that will not be installed are marked with an X. To install a component or conversely prohibit its installation, click on the arrow and select the required action in the drop-down menu. The last step before installation is to select LibreOffice as the default application for Microsoft Office files. Leave the parameters empty if you are just trying LibreOffice. The last window is the same as in the typical installation, so click Install. LibreOffice is installed. Let's launch it from a shortcut on the desktop. So what we see, the writer document is an analog of the Word application, Calc spreadsheet is an analog of Excel, and Impress Presentation is an analog of PowerPoint. Everything is fine, we can start work. That's all, now we know the more, thanks for watching.